So first of all, thanks for being here today. I appreciate everybody coming. Um, you know, Cinco de Mayo weekend is upon us, and uh, traditionally, what we see as part of the weekend's activities is the celebration up on Federal Boulevard. Many go up there to cruise up and down in their vehicles, and um, we expect to see that this year. Uh, probably most likely for all three days of the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday nights. And it's important that the residents up there, uh, especially along that federal, south federal corridor, know that there's likely to be heavy traffic congestion. Usually we see that congestion uh, start somewhere around 4 or 5 p.m. in the afternoon, continue till uh, around 11 o'clock at night. Um, we always staff for that, and uh, this year will be no exception. We'll have plenty of officers, uh, numerous officers assigned specifically up to Federal Boulevard. Uh, our goals are, are very simple. We want to maximize safety. We want to control and, and make sure we minimize the traffic congestion that happens up on Federal. And we also want to control the noise and the disruption that happens in the neighborhoods along the Federal Boulevard corridor as well. Uh, we have uh, what we uh, like to call a three-phase plan, and the first phase of that plan uh, typically is just letting the normal traffic flow go, and uh, you know we'll allow, allow that to happen as long as it doesn't get too congested and congested and doesn't have an impact on the neighborhood. If it gets to the point with uh, congestion that uh, it's starting to impact the neighborhoods, uh, cars are starting to peel off of Federal Boulevard and uh, drive up and down uh, the neighborhood streets, then we'll start to block off those streets. That's phase two. Phase three is a full diversion. If traffic gets so congested that, that it's backed up uh, what we would deem too far, um, we may have some public safety issues that uh, we may be concerned about. We will conduct a full diversion of that traffic up on out of Federal Boulevard. And um, we had to do that once last year, and, and for the past three years, uh, we've ha only had to do that once. Uh, but that's something that uh, we have a plan in place for as well this year. The things that we look for um, up and down federal, especially with the people driving their cars and cruising, is the safety violations, the speeding, the racing, you know, those types of things. Uh, we're going to be very, very strict as far as enforcement goes this year. The uh, message we have is, is very simple. Come on out, have fun but uh, do it in a safe way. What about drinking, driving impaired? Yeah, those are things that uh, we'll be looking at as well. And, and uh, we typically have arrests for those types of uh, violations and, and um, uh, infractions in the past. Okay, you want people to have fun, but you want to do it in line. People that step out of line, racing, the squealing of tires, that kind of stuff, that'll draw attention to you, then you guys notice that, right? Exactly. Yeah, we, again, we're just trying to make sure that uh, there's a safe environment for everybody to come out and uh, celebrate it. How has it changed over the years? You know, I would say that it hasn't changed much. Um, you know, several years ago, I think we were impacted in a larger way uh, with federal, you know, that cruising and, and that activity extending into northwest Denver. Um, you know, if I would say that there's been any change, I think it's, uh, you know, been really isolated to the south federal corridor. Why do you think that area becomes so popular? You know, to answer that, I think you'd have to go back uh, years previous. You know when when that activity started, and it started long before uh, certainly my my tenure out there. Um, but that type of activity has been occurring out there for a long time. I think it's you know a, a way to you know to to go out and celebrate with other people, be seen, uh, be with friends, all those types of things. Are there other areas of town where you guys have uh, special plans in place, like Civic Center or downtown? Yeah, Civic Center Park would, would be uh, another location. They have an event down at that park every year. I'm not sure. Does anybody know? what? Uh, is that all three days, two days? I don't have the hours on that. So. Okay. So is, is that an area where you guys have to do, uh, you know, change your, your patrols and your coverage? No, there are, yes, in a way, because uh, obviously when you have large groups of 
people in an event like that, then uh, it's going to re require more officers. So there's going to be officers assigned to that event, uh, both on an off-duty basis and uh, probably a little bit uh, uh, with our on-duty resources if that should be needed. When you're talking about noise being a factor, what, what do you mean by that? What's, what is the noise? You know, it's the screeching of tires, um, the revving of engines, that sort of thing. So it's that, and, and, and plus just traffic in general. You know, if you, get, if you get a lot of traffic that's moving in a particular area, and if that goes off into the neighborhoods, just the traffic alone will create extra noise. And in terms of the last couple of years, um, in terms of any arrests that you had to make, is it a handful? Is it more than a handful generally? What is, what's your I'll give you an example. For last year, uh, we made uh, probably just a little bit over 300 citations for traffic violations. Uh, I think along with that, there were 40 arrests for numerous things, you know, assaults that may have happened, criminal mischief activities, uh, DUIs, that sort of thing, uh, eluding of police officers, which does occur at some points as well. 300 citations? 40 arrests? Yes. What else in town compares to that? That seems like a lot. That seems like a big event. It is. It's over a three-day period, though. You have to keep that in mind. Uh, and we issue a lot of warnings, uh, you know, on the lesser infractions. Again, those violations that we are really going to pay attention to really be strict on are the speed violations, you know, running through red lights, running through stop signs, those types of things. Uh, people that uh, are hanging out windows of cars while it's moving. Those things that really create a public safety issue and, and dangers for not only the people that may occupy that car, but for other people that uh, are up there as well. People that are not involved in the activities, do you suggest they avoid the area? Well, I think it, it is. One thing to keep in mind is that if you're trying to get through on Federal Boulevard during this weekend and during those times, it's the thing that people know is it's going to take a little bit longer to get through, to get to where you're going. How many officers do you have over a course of a weekend doing that? Is it an overtime thing or do you do shifts? How do you do that? No, they're on duty resources. And, uh, you know, we structure our, our days off and operations around this weekend. So typically, we will have uh, 100 plus officers working up there assigned specifically to Federal Boulevard during any given day. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Jason.